In this lecture, we will continue the study of mid surfacing. Previously, we have understand how to generate mid surfacing using manual method. Now we are going to learn the automatic method. So now let's go to our folder. You need to go to folder of mid surface in your 2D mesh folder. Let's say I will open up the file that is handle one and pick and drag it. Okay. So minimize this. So this is our handle now and here select abacus now here go to classic again here go to classic so I will go to topo and go to mid surface so hold down the left click and go to skin option now it is asking to select the faces now let's go to this option list here here you can see multiple option inside this command so I will pick up this here and drag it to the top so that we can see all options here now first is run skin on visible or select whether we want to select manually or visible part here I will select visible then this option of batch process now batch process is a kind of automatic interaction right now by default we will keep it keep it as close cross so offset type we have geometry and link and by default we use geometry most of the time treat chamfer we don't have any, any chamfer right now so click cross delete original faces right now it is showing check I don't want to delete original faces now so click on so click on this check it will turn into close then skin part use existing skin property auto create okay so now go to this graphic window and here one more option here you will see maximum thickness so whenever you have multiple files it will only create the mid surface up to this maximum value means the part having this maximum thickness okay we know our part have thickness of 2.5 mm so go to this graphic window and click on middle mouse button it will ask some option work on this I will click on a do not ask again click yes now here you will see three color of faces one side of the faces are shown as red face its opposite face will be shown as green face while the siding face will be shown as blue face okay so we can see everything is correct properly so once again press middle mouse button and now it will highlight the side faces so again press middle button and now you can see it has automatically detected the value of thickness 2.5 mm so offset will be its half and you can see it will offset the top face and it will also show the direction by this arrow so click on this offset and now you can see mid surface has been generated here to view this let's say I will go to PID here you can see it will also create a different property by itself and this property has assigned the thickness of 2.5 mm so right click show only close this you can see a proper mid surface has been generated now let's create mid surface of a more complex example that we have used previously so I will open up this file clip 2 so pick up this file and drag it so now it will ask whether we want to merge or open new I will select open new click on discard so now this is our clip file and it is showing points I don't want to show the points here so uncheck on this point here now you can see a little bold a little bit more complex clip part first let's check the normal of the surfaces are proper or not so here go to by entity so normals are proper now let's create the mid surface so go to mid surface go to skin and here select 
डिफॉल्ट ऑप्शन विजिबल जोमेट्री लेट चेक दी थिकनेस फर्स्ट गो टू मीजर एंड चेक दी थिकनेस पॉइंट नाइन वन ओके क्लोज दिस सो वंस अगेन गो टू द कमांड स्किन विजिबल हेयर बैच प्रोसेस नो जोमेट्री ओके वी विल टेक ऑल डिफॉल्ट ऑप्शन एंड हिट द मिडल माउस बटन अगेन एंड देन अगेन द ऑपसेट वैल्यू यू कैन सी हाफ ऑफ इट एंड लेट्स चेक द डायरेक्शन हेयर यू कैन सी दिस टॉप फेस विल बी ऑपसेटेड इन बॉटम ओके नाउ लेट्स क्लिक ऑन ऑपसेट सो यू कैन सी ए रेड कलर एज एट द मिड पॉइंट सो नाउ लेट्स गो टू पी आई डी गो टू दिस मॉडल स्किन राइट क्लिक शो ओनली एंड क्लोज दिस एंड राइट नाउ यू कैन सी मिड सर्फेस हैज बिन जनरेटेड प्रॉपरली बट यू कैन सी द नॉर्मल्स ऑफ द सर्फेस आर नॉट प्रॉपर इफ यू गो टू इफ यू गो हेयर ओके लेफ्ट चेक वेदर नॉर्मल्स आर प्रॉपर नॉट गो टू ओरियंट विजिबल ओके नाउ इट दीज आर प्रॉपर यू कैन सी दिस इज येल्लो आउट साइड फेस इज कम्प्लीटली येल्लो एंड दिस ग्रे कलर इज इन साइड ओके now you can see mid surface has been generated properly now if you go to this command go to this mid surface and skin there are some options like chamfer and this offset etc now let's understand how these options are useful in multiple geometries so first i will come out this command so press escape now let's go to our folder i will pick up this file that is chamfer file pick and drag this it will ask to open up a new file discard now in this geometry you can see there are chamfers on these edges you can see this inclined faces and this chamfer are only two opposite faces now let's try to extract mid surface in this case first let's check the thickness of this so to check the thickness first we need to create a cut here we will use project cut from this point up to this line now this line is a proper perpendicular line so now go to measure and pick select this you can see this value is 10 okay so close this and go to mid surface skin here in the maximum select this value 10 and right now first let's create the mid surface by our default option so hit the roller again you can see same type of option again then again so offset distance is 5 click okay now you can see it has not created a proper offset up to the chamfer you can see the surface is ending here so if i go to by pid and let's say i will go to visible visibility i turn it off you can see this red color edge or face is ending here this is not covering the proper surface till this end and this is something we don't want and i will turn on shaded and here i will go to this skin that is created right click show only so this is not properly representing the mid surface of that 3d body so i will go to pid i will delete this right click delete it and okay turn on the 3d part so for this we have a separate option here and this option is of the mid surface and skin here you need to use treat chamfer right now it is turned off we need to turn it on click on this now hit roller again then again and offset now you can see by using this chamfer option the software has automatically detected the chamfer and it has created mid surface up to this chamfer let's change the color of this part here let's say this is 
double click on this pick up some different color like this now you can see this red color edge is until this end of the chamfer and this is the proper representation of a chamfer surface now one more example i want to show you is let's turn let's go out of this command press escape and once again go to the folder we have one more file that is variable thickness and pick and drag it open new file and discard in this case you can see we have three sections in the single part all three parts or, or all three sections has different thickness how does the software create mid surface in this case let's see go to mid surface and go to skin again here we don't have any chamfer so turn it off and let's see our options so select visible hair and hit the roller now in this case you will see our red color faces are the top face from the bottom you can see green color faces these are opposite faces and in the guiding faces these blue colors you can see these are also guiding faces these step faces now let's continue with this oh, hit the roller again then again now software has recognized that there are three sections you will see section one of three section one is highlighting here this top face software has recognized that this thickness is five so half will be 2.5 we need to create offset of this or no i will say offset click on this offset now for the software second section is this section and again the thickness here is 15 so offset it and this section has a thickness of 10 then offset it and now if you go to the property PID and go to so this is our 3d part I will hide this and these three properties have been created you can see this property of thickness 5 10 and 15 close you can see we have three different surfaces but each surface has different thickness while its parent component or 3d component is a single component okay now let's mesh this so i will go to entity mode here you can see a red color edge between them so first we need to remove this red color edge between the surfaces so i will go to here topo topo and zoom out select all the faces like this and hit the roller so now you can see there are no free edges inside the surfaces so now i can simply mesh it so before meshing we need to length it length select all and let's say i will select five and okay so as usual i will go to mesh go to best visible so a rough mesh has been generated here if you go to pid okay property on uh, okay the thickness is already assigned so i will go to pid from here then i will go to uh, this quality criteria select representation draw shell as solid and click ok now let's see you can see different thicknesses and you can compare it with this 3d geometry so in this way whenever we have a variable thickness this is how software will consider it by breaking it in different sections so this is the auto mid surfacing